Minnesota Teed Up with Trin. I'm here on the student athlete red carpet for our banquet. And you're going to be hearing from some other student athletes that you guys haven't seen on my channel yet from different sports teams. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, what's up? Back with another red carpet interview. Today I'm here with the lovely Ellie Torres of the Hello. women's volleyball team. Um, Ellie, I just have two quick questions for you. Zero. If you weren't blessing us with your volleyball skills, what sport would you be playing? I think I would play lacrosse. I would be a women's lacrosse player for sure. Any reason why? I'm gonna have to say because of their outfits. The little skirt, they look so good. Always so cute, gorgeous. Very, very <laughs> cute. And then tell us a little bit about your look today. My look, okay. This is from Pepper Mayo. Oh. Super cute, my heels. Where are my heels from? Zara, they're from Zara. And then obviously looking so put together and phenomenal as always, what is one product you can't live without? This is a very hard question. Um, I'm gonna have to say my lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury and my Summer Fridays gloss. Pillow talk? Wearing it tonight, pillow, pillow talk. talk. Okay, pillow talk. always, always. Well, thanks Ellie, that's all we have time Thank for you, today. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Joey on the red carpet at the Student Athlete Banquet, and we're just gonna ask him a few questions to get to know him. So uh, Joey, you mind telling us about what team you play for here? Sure, I'm a senior on the baseball team here at NJIT. Oh, that's fabulous. And would you tell us a little bit about your look today? Um, what did you pull out for uh, the Student Athlete Banquet? So basically, I just got the striped shirt here. Uh, gotta rock some stripes, some khaki pants, some vans, uh, kind of simple, but I feel like it gets the job done. A classy look uh, for a classy guy, what can I say? So Joey, if you could play baseball at any stadium in the world, where would you play? Definitely PNC Park. I'm from Pittsburgh. Uh, it's well known as like one of the best ballparks in America. So just to be able to step on that field, that would be a really cool experience. No, I agree with you. And uh, I guess we'll just wrap this up here. One more quick question. What's been the highlight of your career here at NJIT? Uh, the highlight of my career is definitely going to the regional my freshman year when we faced Arkansas. Got a win down there and just that whole season was awesome and we're looking to repeat that this year for sure. No ring? No ring today? We didn't well, win. It's unfortunate. Uh, we'll have so. to get Polly G out here Polly to flash his rings. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Joey. That's all we have time for today. Thank you. Hey, guys. I'm here with Danny and Maddie from the women's soccer team and they're going to answer a few quick questions. Um, Danny, if you could switch lives with any one of your teammates, who would it be and why? I think it would have to be Maddie. She lives the best life ever as her roommate. She's never in the room, so I just, I would want to know what she's doing all day. Oh, so mysterious, you know? Like, I could never keep my mouth shut long enough to be mysterious. And um, Maddie, tell us about your look tonight. Was it inspired? So, the first, first three, five years I've been here, four years I've been here, I've worn a shorter red dress, but we decided to go a little bit more formal today, a little bit more like, you know, a little dazzle, a little bit more, little little bit more, more my parting, yeah, had to, had to give the people more. Okay, and then one last question for you, Maddie. As your fifth year signing off, do you have any farewell messages or, I don't know, uh, little recommendations for the, your fellow student athletes here? Yeah, I mean, I loved every second being here. I wouldn't have traded it, my experiences for the world. And if I could give a piece of advice, it would be cherish everything, all the little moments with your teammates, in the training room, on the long bus rides, all that good stuff, because it, yeah, it goes by quick. Thanks, that's a wrap. Hey guys, I'm here with Makai Gray, senior on the men's basketball team, who has been begging to get on the show for the last two years. We're finally making it happen. Um, Makai, can you tell us a little bit what this look is inspired by? I'm seeing some Gucci shoes, um, looking quite fitted up and drippy, as the kids say. Oh, drippy indeed, right? Okay, so right, I'm starting with the shoes, right? Right, the right, shoes, right. right, right. That NLI money. H&M. Okay. Keeping it simple, H&M. We're balling on a budget. Got the turtleneck. Grand Bill Meyer inspired, okay? Oh, okay. you know what? You, That's you a great... Film, if you did the film, you know what I'm talking we'll about. We'll have to okay? insert a clip of Grant's classic, okay. iconic turtlenecks. Okay. I might hit him with the Shador. <laughs> Got their glasses on. Just keeping it real simple. Yeah, just a very classy look for me. I love that. Thank you. Um, and then another question: If you could have dinner with any baller, past or present, who would you pick, and what's the meal? Good question. I'm thinking I'm gonna sit down with Kobe Bryant just because that's all time my favorite. Yeah. You know, 24. I wear 24. It. You know, that's my favorite. I'm gonna sit down with Kobe. The meal? 
right now, just because I'm feeling it, maybe some Jamaican food, some Ooh. oxtail, switch it up. A, a little bit. jerk chicken in there? It might be Italian, but you know, bring it back to me. You know, I might, have to, I might have to partake in that meal as well. We can make hey, it we a... got an extra seat. We got an extra seat. Thank know? you. Thank you. And then lastly, can you tell us one of your favorite all-time memories from being here at JIT? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say all-time favorite memory being here is definitely uh, scoring the go-ahead basket against UMBC last right, year. Right, like... I mean, as everyone's dream, man. Uh, you know, hitting the game winner. I know you've been there. That's, that's what been at there. UMBC yeah, you know? Hey, got What every got hooper dreams coming. of. You know, or you know. Well, thanks for coming on today, Makai. Thanks that's all me. we have time for today, guys. See you later. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm here with Free Emoji of the women's soccer team for a quick winner interview. So um, a little birdie told me that we recently broke the NJIT women's soccer bench record. Would you guys care to comment on this? Well, <laughs> we did break our record. I got 175 and my last was 155. Right, so we have some Breeze pumping some iron. Moji. And then the former record was Breeze 155. I just matched that at 155, but last year I was at like 135. So. We both went up by like 20 pounds. That's awesome. I love strong, fierce women. Yeah. And um, do we have any highlights of the season or just like memorable things from NJIT? Um, the Vermont game, uh, scoring two goals to get us through the playoffs. That's an amazing feeling. I'm sure like nothing tops that than sending your team to playoffs and having your teammates just, I don't know, dogpile you. <laughs> Pretty cool. And then lastly, I'll start off with Bree. Bree, could you tell me about your look first? Uh, I had this romper dress. I did it since last year and I wanted to get gold jewelry with it and I put some in my hair just so I can all complex and jewelry. Okay, with the a, with a high pink braids, I see you. Emoji, I saw you outside bronzing up today to get ready for this. I gotta get my, I gotta get real chocolatey for this peach dress. Right, right. It's a really good combo. But me and Bree, we went to the mall. We were there for an hour and a half and we're leaving, we see the store and it was the first dress we saw and we knew, we knew it was a dress. Bree wow. was like, Bree was like, that's the one. And I'm like, that's the one. Stunning. I love I love the coral orange. It's giving summer vibes. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. I'm here with Levi and Tariq of the men's basketball team. Finally, some other hoopers on here. Um, tell us about your matching looks today. What inspired this? The polo? Nah, we didn't even try. It just, you know, it just came up uh, to happen, so. You just have like the coordination telepathy. This is just a drip, like this is just a uh, basketball drip, you know what I mean? So, All right. Okay. Respect, respect. Um, how would you guys describe your freshman year at NJIT? Reek first. Uh, I think it was good. I, um, I won a few awards. Uh, we're starting to build something special with the team, so it was good. Mr. Rookie of the Year over here in Levi. Uh, it was good, yeah. Like we learned a lot. Um, we built a lot as a team, and it was a good like learning experience for all of us. So you're talking about learning a lot. Um, what are we learning in the classroom, boys? I know, you know, calculus, maybe not our favorite subject, but any cool classes? Um, I took history. Uh, I took like earth and space science and stuff. So that was good. That was good for me too. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got some challenging classes. Calculus is my, you know, that's the one I'm battling right now, but you know, I've been studying, so I should be good. I have a feeling you'll come out on top there. And uh, lastly, tell me about any fun summer plans you guys have. Uh, well, I'm going to be traveling a lot for basketball, training, working out. Uh, I'm going to make a trip down to the DMV to see my boy. So it's going to be fun. And Levi, any fun plans? Um, really the same thing, like just working out, playing basketball. And um, we're going to be up here soon enough. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, the 1v1 videos will be coming soon. We've been getting lots of demand. But, you know, just have to keep the fans waiting. And uh, thanks, Rick and Levi, for this interview. Appreciate you. Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with Morgan, our athletic trainer. And Morgan, tell us a little bit about your look tonight. I decided about 10 minutes ago that this is what I was gonna wear and it's from high school, so. Well, you look back. You look fabulous, but you were in high school yesterday. <laughs> um, what has been your favorite place that you've traveled with one of the NJIT teams? I've been to California with both women's soccer and men's volleyball, and that's probably my favorite place that I've traveled. Oh, awesome. And then, is there any, like, how would you describe the athletic training unit, like, as a whole? We are a family, and I really, truly believe that, so we have a lot of fun together, and yeah. I, it's, I like it. <laughs> well, thank you guys for taking care of us. Shout out all of our athletic trainers, Katie and Oriana behind the camera. And uh, that's all we have for you guys today, so thanks. Hey, guys, I'm back with Coach Pace and Coach Mo, my women's basketball coaches. 
Uh, we had Coach Pace previously on the show, but, you know, Coach Pace, could you tell us about your look tonight? Absolutely. I got the Highlander colors locked in, got those Banana Republic pants with my white top, roll tech. And Coach Mo, same for you. Um, I got th some black on, so maybe not like Highlander, but I got the red. I got the flats on today. Sorry, guys. Not wearing the heels today. Just had knee surgery. So we're rocking the red, though. Yeah, we're glad to see you're up and walking. Um, what are wh What is one place that you guys are most excited to go to recruiting this summer? Um, recruiting? What a change up. Um, I would definitely say got to go with my home state, Jersey. I'm um, really excited about that. Also, traveling to the wet for the summer session. Can't wait. Yeah, Jersey was like, we could pick a better answer. Coach Mo, please don't disappoint me. Well, originally I thought it was where am I most excited to go traveling. Next week I'm going to Nashville. Woo! And then the following week for recruiting, we're going to Texas. So excited for that one. That's fun, a little honky tonk. And then my last question for you guys would have to be, what is one thing that like people may not know about head coach Mike Lane? Where do I begin? I would have to say my first and one I have to say is he's really deathly afraid of alligators. I'll have to store this knowledge for later. Coach Mo? Um, I'm really trying to think here, and I'm having a, a tough time. However, um, I basically was hired because I'm a Boston Celtics fan, so we, should, we at least share that love for Boston sports. Yes. All right, well, thanks, guys, and that's all the questions we have for today. Hey, guys, what's up? I'm here with President Lim and the First Lady of NJIT, Gina. And Hello. can you guys tell us about your look today on the student athlete red carpet? Well, you know, we are always dressed uh, for NJIT. You know, we have the red, the logo. Oh, that's and nice. Then, you know, and then you have the lapels. Oh, the lapels. Okay. I like those. Gina's got and the nails. Square red, you know. Okay, we'll have to get a close up of the nails. Yeah, really? yeah. And Gina's got a little Chanel bling bling on. I see that, yes. Oh, actually, you know what? It's, it's a two C's. Okay. Our, we have the same middle name, Chin, CC. That's so cute. Yeah. You guys have to be one of my favorite NJIT love stories. I know you didn't meet here, but we love your relationship. Um, tell us about your favorite sporting event or sporting events that you guys have been to since you became the president. Well, I have to say women basketball. <laughs> you know, actually it is true. I was here um, with uh, trustee Alyssa Charters and we were watching the game. It was back and forth, back and forth. It was, and then we, we came out, yeah. remember that game? Our games are nail biters, that's for sure. Always the nail biter. Make them interesting. Right, right, yeah. And, and I know you came out ahead at that time. It was fabulous. I, I was so worried, you know, and you know, to, to the end, you know, yeah. I was like, come on, hit the basket, hit the basket. Yeah. John me. Yeah, well, I just want to say thank you guys for always coming to support women's basketball specifically and the rest of the NJIT sports. Uh, Tech and Gina are always front row at our games and their support means the world. So thank you. That's all we have time for today. Thank you. Go Highlander.